Hi there, this is Krishnaraj from Byte Scout, and in this video, we'll be going to learn about how we can obfuscate our JavaScript code. Well, as a programmer, let's say we have developed one website which catering to our client needs perfectly. However, there are many security threats out there, like everyday hackers creating a malicious program to gain unauthorized access to our application or devices. And many times our software code itself provides the entry point for the attackers. So now what exactly the obfuscation is? Well, the obfuscation is one of the security techniques to guard against the application hacking. And as per the Wikipedia, obfuscation is an act of process of modifying source code so that it is much harder to read and understand for a hacker. Almost all the code can be reverse engineered with enough skill, time, and effort. So, to prevent it, programmers may obfuscate code to prevent tampering or deter reverse engineering. There are some techniques which is used to obfuscate more scripts, like obfuscating the format of the code, and next is adding extra lines of the code into the main code. Another one is substituting variable names in the code. And the last one is obfuscating the code itself. Now let's understand each of these. So what do you mean by obfuscating the format of the code? Well, it means it removes all the nice line breaks and identification that makes our code readable. So let's say if you have this type of code, then after obfuscating of formatting, you are left with this type of large ugly piece of code. Alright, and the next is adding extra line of code into the main code. So in this case, we need to insert some extra code into our script that does nothing. This is just to confusing an analyst. So if you have this type of code, then the final code would be look like this. Well, while one or two extra lines of code won't do much, but imagine what happens when you have hundreds of these lines within your code. It quickly becomes difficult in determining which code is valid and which is not doing anything. Okay, and the another one is substituting variable names. So, as a programmer, First thing we learned was give a meaningful variable name in the code. But this methodology does the exact opposite. It changes your meaningful variable name to some meaningless words. So when you look at the example here, it's easy to figure out what the variable on the left hand side is doing and what is the meaning of it. But once a variable substitution is applied, it becomes much more difficult to figure out what the variable is used for. Alright, and the last one we are going to talk about is obfuscating the code. So in this case, it is nothing but a process of modifying the source code so that it is much harder to read and understand. Now, if you see this example, we have two lines of code. One is setting the product name with the value gun and the another one is setting its price to 50. So now when the obfuscation is applied to them, it would become this. Now if we see this carefully, then you can see that from the first line, it splits out the first letter of the gun and concatenate it to a blank character which is really adding nothing to it. And then it appends of hex 70 plus 5, which is the value for the letter U. And then it concatenates to a character N. So this whole line just creates the word gun. But in a way, that's difficult to parse by analyst. So both of these lines are an example of data obfuscation. Alright, now in the next video, we will perform a demo of how you can obfuscate your JS file 
step by step by using an open source JavaScript obfuscator tool. So stay tuned with us.